Hi there! Have you ever thought to yourself, Wow, I love bossing, but I wish every boss took 15 minutes and if I mess up once, I die. No? Me neither. But that's generally how it goes on the Thrall account. Uh-oh. Go, go... Oh my fu- But it's all worth it for that sweet, sweet pet drop. <gasps> um, the original goal of this account was to get an untrimmed Slayer cape. However, I wasn't very good at that. Judging by the fact my first Slayer task was Scorpions, and I decided to go for Scorpia. Pet hunting is a drug, and I'm going for withdrawals. So after a very fun 24 hours of Slayer. Oh, what the fuck? I think someone's house is on fire outside. But I gotta finish the Sankus, uh, gotta, gotta finish the Sankus task first. For the safety of myself and everyone around me, I decided to get back into pet hunting. There's actually a lot of pets that you can get on a Thrall account. 90% of these pets shown here can be obtained on a Thrall account. But first off, I wanted to get Cowfight Queen pet. Setting up KQ was actually incredibly simple. All I had to do was tick eat the first attack. I fucking ate, man! As I said, you just needed to tick eat the first attack. And now the final thing that we had to do was to lose aggression in the cave. And you can do this by staying in the same area for 10 minutes. This was done so that I didn't have to protect melee from the cow fight workers. I still had to attack KQ every 5 minutes or it would reset, like you saw earlier. Now finally, we could kill KQ. And the way we went about this was summoning a frow and then flinching with magic. Now, some of the more experienced players might realise you're not supposed to be able to flinch with magic. How does this work? And I can honestly tell you, I have no idea. As always, the majority of my methods often come from the 10 HP Discord. The KQ method and a lot of other Thrall methods come from Restricted's YouTube channel. Check him out. So, mage flinching. It just works. Now, I've basically gone over all the mechanics and I could show you the kill in normal speed, but we would be here for about 15 minutes plus. So I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit. Funnily enough, I had pretty good RNG here, and managed to finish off the kill in about 6 minutes, leaving us at a total kill time of about 10, maybe 12 minutes. Even managing to get a combat task done. A combat task that requires me to use Verax. Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you how this works, I'm as confused as you are. So, after a few more solo kills, I decided we've really got to work out a way to make these kills a bit faster. I was averaging around 3 kills per hour, meaning the Cowfight Princess, which is a 1 in 3k, would probably take me about a thousand hours just to get on drop rate. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of time. I have to be doing other stuff, like this. Anyway, how was I going to speed up my kills? The answer was actually pretty simple. We'd just be doing some damage splitting which is purely just a matter of splitting the damage done to a boss over multiple accounts, with my Thrall account being the one doing the most damage and therefore receiving the kill credit. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. The way you typed that is how my, uh, how my brain works right now. As you may see, Cowfight Queen is on its second phase, but on the damage counter on the top left, you can see I've only done 28 damage. That's because the gamers over here did about 160 damage each, which means KQ kills take about half the time they'd normally take. But they don't come without their problems. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Is that a chat? Brother, I have out of my own whip. <gasps> <gasps>
<laughs> Thank you for the tier one, sir. I would also help out with the damage splitting. Okay, 145. I wanted to bring this up because I do sometimes get YouTube comments about this. While I might not share it in the videos or on stream very often, I do use alt accounts to help out the grind. On Corp, for example, I'm on four accounts at the same time, and anyone from my stream or from my Discord that wants to help out is more than welcome to do so. If I get a sigil split or anything expensive, I'll split it with them. So, in conclusion, I don't believe that I'm cheating myself at all by doing this. I really enjoy interacting with my community, and it makes these pet grinds, which may take me hundreds if not thousands of hours, a lot more enjoyable when they're being done with friends. Anyway, using this method, we were blasting through kills. A staggering rate of 6kc an hour. Easy pet, yeah, pet this kill. Yeah, pet. Super combat. <laughs> okay. Okay, pet time, pet time, pet time. Rune chain body. Do it, coward. Well, I'm just about to get pet first, so... Nope, that's a dark grab. I think we need to start a watermelon seed... Um, watermelon seed collection. But on Il's 63rd KQ kill... Alright, pet time. He got this drop. Pet time. Pet time? Pog? 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 Question mark? Pog? Pog? Pet? KQ head? Um, uh... Yeah, I didn't get the pet. I'm a fraud. I'm sorry. Sue me. I could get another potential flex from this, though. If I get 10 defense, I could get the cow fight slayer helm. I may eventually have to get 45 defense anyway, as a few pet hunts would require it. Before we get onto the next pet hunt, I'd like to talk to you about a tournament that I'm going to be hosting, with a prize pool of 250 mil. However, hosting a normal RuneScape tournament can be kind of boring. Therefore, I'm trying to make the most scuffed tournament possible. It's not even going to be on RuneScape. This tournament is going to be on a game called Blade and Soul, which I'm pretty confident most people don't know. And for that reason, I only want people that have never played the game to do this. I even want to go as far as to have casters that have no idea what they're casting. From the day this video goes up, there will be two weeks and a few days until the tournament begins. Meaning everyone that competes in this tournament is going to have pretty much the same amount of time to play the game and get good at it. All you need to do is join my Discord, linked down below, and I'll have a channel there explaining everything that you need to do to compete in the tournament. And no, this isn't a sponsorship. Your boy's not that famous yet. For our next boss, we're going to go for Serachnus. Honestly, if I saw that damn thing in my living room, I'd stomp on it until it was a small brown stain. A while back, I got a comment about someone being annoyed that I didn't know Serachnus mechanics. And that's still true today. What the fuck, dude? Good thing I'll never have to. If I park myself in the middle of the room, throw on range protection and AFK with autocast on, I can just AFK this boss. Now, the absolute PVM demons watching this video might be thinking, what do I do about the ads? And to that, I say, what ads? There's no ads. Serachnus has never had ads. I've done a grand total of 17kc at Serachnus. I have never seen an ad in my life. Yo, man, are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. You're lying again. Serachnus has never had ads. You need to be locked up and thrown into a cell. You're crazy. Everyone hates you. Watch the rest of this video with me. There is no ads. Ads don't exist. You've been lied to. Wake up. This is all just another conspiracy by Big Jagex. See? Still no ads. It's almost dead. There's no ad. I hope you take my message very seriously. There is no ads at Serachnus. So, yeah, we don't really show Serachnus much on stream because it's so boring in AFK. But the pet would be nice. And lastly, we went to Scorpio. And for Scorpio, I'd have a friend come and venom it, and then tank it. And then it was just a simple matter of letting the venom and the frows kill Scorpio. There's actually a really cool mechanic that you can pull off with Scorpio, which I've never seen documented on YouTube before. The mechanic is...
Don't make me bring my G-more pure, boy. Anyway, the cool Scorpio mechanic is that... Can I join one kill? Okay, so, as I was saying, the interesting Scorpio mechanic is that... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Last time, this is the cool Scorpio mechanic. Okay, so maybe I can't show you the mechanic, but I'll show you one successful kill and you can probably work it out from there. I have faith in you, you make me proud. Now, the absolute PVM demons watching this video might be thinking, what do I do about the ads? And to that, I say, what ads? There's no ads. Thank you for watching. Credit goes out to all the people that helped out with the bosses in this video. I'd also like to remind you, we are having a 250 mil tournament on a Mongolian stick fighting game from like 2012 or something. It's mostly for fun, so if you're interested, Join the Discord below, and everything will be explained. Oh, and also, before you go, uh, Mystic Robe Top, please. Huh?